Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a Sephora haul for you. It's going to be a small Sephora haul. It's just a couple of items, but um, it is kind of a big deal for me because I, if you have watched my channel, you know that I have been on a no buy. Been on a no buy since the day after Christmas. And I went for a total of 104 days without buying any makeup. No makeup, no skincare, no beauty related type items whatsoever. No bath, nothing. Um, I did that for several reasons. One was I was wanting to save up some money to buy a new laptop. Two, I just have way too much stuff in my collection and I just really wanted to just stop for a little bit and just enjoy what I have already. And three, I was just really going through a really, really um, bad time in my life and just wasn't enjoying the purchase aspect of it, the shopping aspect. There was just a lot of things actually in my life I wasn't enjoying and um, shopping was one of them and I just wasn't doing any of that. But anyway, I did go 103, 104 days without you know, doing any type of shopping. And then I decided because um, one, I had a 20% off coupon for Ulta. So I will be having an Ulta haul. I'm just waiting for another order to come in. And there were some things I wanted to get and I had also accumulated quite a bit of um, points and I wanted to use those. So I'm going to have an Ulta haul. And two, um, I knew for this month because of the spring sale that Ulta does, or not Ulta, but Sephora does, I knew there was going to be a couple of things that I wanted to purchase during that sale. And um, so I knew that during this month I was going to kind of go off in my no buy, but I wasn't going to go like, you know, just hog wild, but um, I kind of have <laughs> a little bit. But anyway, um, prior to the sale going active for Sephora, there was a new item that came out that I wanted to go ahead and get. Um, it wasn't very expensive. And when I was perusing the Sephora website and um, was getting ready to check out that I don't know what the deal was but they had an an offer where you could get um, 750 points or you could um, select free shipping for a year I think it was like free to fly two-day flash shipping for a year I think another one was um, like a a full size product or something. I don't know. I don't remember what it was, but I selected the 750 free points because that put me then getting having enough points to get a free gift card. And I wanted the gift card to be able to use um, to get another item that I was wanting to get. And I could have waited and got the item during the VIB sale, but at that time, I was thinking that the VIB sale for VIB Rouge was just going to be 15% like it has always been in the past during the spring. Um, it's always been just 15%, but this year they've changed it to a VIB Rouge is going to get 20%. But even with 20% off, I would rather have had the $100 gift card and just spent the $100 on this product. But anyway. So that's why I went ahead and did this purchase prior to the sale. I am going to be making a purchase during the sale, but it's not going to be a whole lot. It's just a few things that I'm going to get. And I'm going to save the bulk of my Sephora purchases probably during um, Christmas because that's when all the sets and stuff like that come out. But anyway, so without further ado, <laughs> let's get started and I'll show you my two items that I purchased off of the Sephora website. So anyway, this is two different um, purchases because um, even though I had enough points to get 
the um, Sephora gift card, I had to wait until it showed up in the Rewards Bazaar. Isn't that crazy that they only have that gift card option available just certain times? I guess they only download it on Tuesdays and Thursdays and they only download a certain amount. And then once those are gone, you have to wait until they download them again the following Thursday or the following Tuesday, whichever it may be. That's just crazy. That's why I like Ulta. But anyway, the first order that I did, um, let me get some of this stuff situated here. The first order that I did, um, the main product that I wanted to order was this little mini from Natasha Denona. And it is the um, Bronze and Glow. It's a bronzer and highlighting powder. And it's a little duo. And, um, oh no, my glasses are over there. <laughs> um, does it say what two colors these are? something oh man it doesn't say I'm gonna have to get my glasses hang on this video has been a, an all afternoon process my SD SD card for whatever reason would not all, all of a sudden it just came up and said it needed to be formatted I'm thinking okay so then it wouldn't let me format it so I had to go buy a new one a new SD card so we just got back from doing that because then my husband decided he wanted to go to Harbor Freight and if you're not familiar with Harbor Freight it's a like a tool store so basically it's like an Ulta for men and I still can't read this <laughs> even with my glasses anyway this little mini palette this um, during the sale you have got to get this this little guy is so nice so nice first of all i have worn it as an eyeshadow duo with just this little color here in the crease and then this on the eyelid as a um, all over glow um, this this color here is just a little bit too dark for me as a cheek highlighter but if you're a little bit darker complected than I am, it's going to be absolutely beautiful on the cheeks. Um, I do have this um, bronzer on today as my bronzer. But it is so pretty. So pretty. And this glow color here, this highlight is so pretty on the eyes. So don't be scared of this being too dark for you if you're my skin tone because you can definitely wear it on the eyes. So pretty, you can definitely wear this um, on the face as a bronzer. Just go on a little bit light handed with it because it will definitely get a little bit too much. If you don't, um, I did that the other day. Had it on a little bit too heavy, and but it is so pretty and it's $19. And then when you get a discount off of it, oh, so pretty. I'm going to build that highlight up with just a little bit. But like I said, the highlight is too much of a highlight for me to go on my cheekbones as a highlight. But as a blush topper, oh, yeah, that's that's really pretty. So, mm, yes, so this is definitely a recommendation for the Sephora sale that's coming up. So this is the Natasha Denona, the Linal Mini Highlighter and Bronzer Palette that just came out. They, she just launched this. So it's really, really pretty, and I do definitely recommend that. So I purchased that, and then they had some of their little um, Sephora brand um, sleeping mask or mask on clearance for $2. So I guess they're phasing these out, but it's just their little mask. Um, so I got the one in the rose, and they're just in these little packs. Um, supposedly these are a one-time or a one-use I guess I should say, but you can actually get two uses out of this. Um, you don't really need the, the whole amount for one time. Just 
open it up just enough to get your finger in there, put half of it on, close it back up, put it in a little um, baggie, just kind of seal it, put it in your ice box um, to preserve it and then use it again, the rest of it. So I got the rose, which I have used and I like the rose. And then I got the, um, the aloe and the, um, the coconut, coconut water one. So, and they were $2. I picked those up and then I have put in a um, code and the code I picked this one, which is from Youth to the People right here. And it's the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. And I really do like the Youth to the People um, brand so far, the products that I've tried. And I definitely wanted to try a mask from them. And it's a pretty good size sample. It's not a little chintzy, so I'm definitely going to be able to get probably three uses out of this. doesn't have that much of a smell to it. Just very, very, very faintly. And the texture of it is like a cream, is how it feels. Might have a slight, it almost has a slight lemony scent to it. Slight. It has um, vitamin C, squalene, hyaluronic acid. So, and is it a overnight? I was thinking it was an overnight one. Yes, it's an overnight mask. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I can't wait to use that. And then the samples that I got, it's not the ones that I picked. I hate it when they do that. I mean, why even bother letting us pick the samples that, if they're not going to send what we picked? Just put some in there at random. And did you notice that we don't get to pick three anymore? We only get to pick two. Hmm. But anyway, the Briojo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Shampoo. They sent me that. And the Tom Ford Eau du Soleil Blanc. And that's a toilette. Looks like that right there. They sent that to me. So anyway, those were that was in the first order. So then I finally was able to get my um, gift card, which I think it took me two weeks after I got my points. Two weeks before I was able to snag a gift card. Oh, so aggravating. Isn't that aggravating? To have to wait that long to be able to get to cash in your points to get a gift card. But anyway, um, before I show you the product, I will. I didn't get any samples with that order. I know I selected two samples, but I didn't get any samples with that order. <laughs> so, but I did put in a code, and I got the Kiehl's Light Up with Flawless Clarity, which is a dark spot solution. Um, it's like a serum, I guess, for dark spots. And this is supposed to be like for seven days. But I think in each one of these little packets, especially there might be enough in there for two uses, but no, there's not. Anyway, so, but it's got activated C, uh, there's peony extract, white birch extract. And after one week, your skin is supposed to appear brighter, um, dark spots and discolorations appear reduced, and skin feels moisturized. So, we will see about that. And then after 12 weeks of continued use, um, you're supposed to see all kinds of stuff. Skin tone appears more even, Post acne marks are reduced, skin texture appears smoother, fine lines appear minimized, and wrinkles appear minimized after 12 weeks of using this. Of course, you would have to buy the full size of that. So anyway, so what did I buy with my $100 gift card? Well, I will tell you, I had to put money with that $100 gift card to get this one product, but I really, really wanted it. And it came packaged in this little box right here. 
And then I opened this and it was all packaged up in this little inner packaging. And then you opened up the box and it had this in it. And it is a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. And it's the Viva palette. I think that's how you say it. I'm not for sure. But anyway, uh, as soon as I seen this come out, I knew that I wanted to get it whenever I was at a situation or at a point where I was going to be making purchases again. That was on my list. And um, I knew when I had enough points at Ulta, or not Ulta, at Sephora to get a gift card that this was going to be the item that I was going to purchase with my gift card and I did and first of all the packaging is just really pretty it's just made um, in this really pretty soft pastel pink which is one of my favorite colors and I do have this palette on as my eyeshadows today and here is what it looks like and I had went actually shopping last Sunday today's Easter Sunday that I'm actually filming this and um, swatched it all there at Sephora and just to make sure that it was something I was going to like before I spent my gift card on it because I don't know how they would if you were to return it how they would credit you back for this if they would just give you another hundred dollar gift card I don't know but anyway um, I have this color here on which is called oh, I gotta get the glasses which is called um, Monroe and then I have freckle in the crease and cocoa on the outer edge so which is this is the Monroe that I have on the lid as the um, sparkly color then I have freckle in the crease and cocoa on the outer edge and I've worn this color here which is sculpture and what is that tar oh, I can't see it that way yes tar I wore those I wore these two colors yesterday and they made a really pretty like a um a taupe color and this color all over the lid that was really pretty so I'll just do little swatches there are those but of course they're just very typical Natasha Denona eyeshadows very smooth blend very nicely they last all day they're they're just beautiful can't go wrong with Natasha Denona yes they are pricey but they are so worth it. There they are swatched on the hand. I absolutely love these. And of course I don't have a... Oh man. This color. I haven't swatched this color. What color is this? Raha? Is that what that is? Rayon. <laughs> Rayon. Just this color right here. But there's all kinds of videos out there with people swatching them, doing eye looks. But they are just so smooth, so creamy. I love them. I, lo I want all of them. I have some other ones that I don't have yet. And I'm really thinking with the VIB sale coming up that there's a couple of minis that I want. That I'm going to get some mini ones. But, mm, 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 mm. Let's see something to wipe my hands on I ran all my wipes that I had sitting up here and I forgot to bring some over here oh, I'm very ill prepared like I said this video has been a booger to try and get filmed today let me tell you well, let's do this one what is this one this one's Pasha 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 that's Pasha pretty but it's just a basic neutral eyeshadow but not not really basic because they are just so creamy so smooth blend so pretty I just love them 
absolutely love them. The only thing that I wish it had, I wish it had a little bit more shimmers in it. It's only got um, this one here, then the one that I have on, and then this one, which is a little bit darker. Then I would, I don't like wearing the darker shimmers on my lid. So that one's gonna be a little bit harder for me to use. But let's see, let me swatch it right there. Let's see how it swatches. I haven't actually used this one, so it actually might be pretty. I don't know, that may work out pretty good for me. But, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that was it. That's all I purchased um, from Sephora. Like I said, I'm going to be making a purchase during the um, VIB sale here in, what, the end of this week, I think is when it starts. I think so, for the VIB Rouge. But anyway, so yeah, that was it for my, my very first um, haul <laughs> after being on a um, no buy for 104 days. I think I did so well when I started that no buy I really didn't think I would make it even 30 days it was it was tough the first 30 days it really was and I was so surprised that I made it that many days and um, I'm thinking after the Sephora VIB Rouge is done the sale is done then I'm going to go back on a no buy um, just to really kind of keep it in check because I just don't want to keep just accumulating when I don't need to accumulate because there is a lot of stuff I got the one order of Ulta stuff in that there is a, a quite a few things that I ordered that I kind of just did it randomly and I wished I went to bottom because I don't like them but anyway we'll get to that when I do that haul but anyway thank you so much for joining me today I hope that you enjoyed and um, leave us in the comments what you're planning on picking up during the um, VIB sale let us know what you can't wait to order and, and get and play with. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.